right guys, just before we get this vlog underway, I wanted to let you guys know we are going to be doing a special USA sticker and shirt drop. Uh, we're doing a special pre-buy price of 80, 80 bucks. 80 bucks. You're going to have this shirt. We're going to have these two stickers. And then we're going to throw in other stickers from our stash here as well. Um, $80 by between now and Friday lunchtime. For the pre-order. Friday lunchtime for the pre-order. Anything ordered after the, after that date, we won't be able to guarantee you'll get it before we go to the States. So there will be a roughly two month delay. You'll definitely still get it, but there will be a delay. If you order before Friday at lunchtime, We'll have that out to you just before we head to the States. And basically, a reason behind doing this one, guys, is helps raise some money for the States, helps pay for tires, fuel. And at the end of the day, honestly, the uh, the fact is, you know, if we can pump out a bunch of these packs, that means more tires, more track entry, uh, and, and just the ability to hit up even more events. I've been trying to, like, sell some extra things around the place, as in, like, car parts and stuff. Stuff's slowly moving, but at the end of the day, this is a fantastic way for you guys to get some rad stuff and obviously for us to be able to sort of uh, raise a little bit more capital to help us buy tire, basically just tires and fuel and track entry because we're trying to fill this up. We're already going to a lot of events as it is and I've spent a crap ton on tires already. Like when I say a crap ton, I mean a crap ton. So yeah, check it out guys. Show you again the shirt and the two stickers right here. And like I said, we're gonna throw in air fresheners, stickers. The sooner you order, the more generous I think wife you'll be. So yeah. less stress for me makes me more generous and happy. <laughs> All right guys, let's jump into the video. Good morning guys and welcome to another video. Uh, I'm starting this one a little bit late by the late, I mean, it's only 9.30 a.m. But I've spent all morning putting a dump pipe, getting the AC, and yeah, that's the old dump pipe there, and all that off this laurel. Um, and while doing so, I'm an absolute idiot, and I completely cut through a power steering line, so I've done like a dodgy fix. I'm really, really hoping that's gonna hold because we're gonna take this down to the track today and test it. And we're also gonna be testing the R34 uh, giveaway car, the 420 horsepower car. I still haven't, we still haven't put it on high boost yet. So I've only been driving it with 600 or so horsepower. So it'll be great to get onto uh, Sydney Motorsport Park at World Time Attack in a couple weeks and be able to wind up the wick on that thing and go full kill. It is gonna be sick, but um, yeah. Go and uh, I gotta go down the track, gotta get some uh, repair track repair stuff on the way, and um, I am gonna go get the trailer so then we can take this laurel down to the track. I'm also still having brake issues, which is very frustrating with this laurel. Um, so I guess we'll try and bleed them up more. I have a feeling the brake master might be going out on the car, so. If that's the case, that's a bummer. I'll have to get a new brake master for it, but we'll eventually get there with this laurel. It, ha it was sitting around for six years in Ibisu. It was heavily abused before that. So I can't really be mad that it's, uh, you know, got some teething issues coming into Australia. What you doing, chick? That's water mixed with power steering fluid. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that <laughs> is slippery. That's Look, all right, I got it on film. Slipping. You're gonna do splits? You know, yeah. splitties? <laughs> Where are you going? Well, guys, I've had a shit of a day. I got so much awesome progress done on this laurel today. And then I was getting rid of the aircon stuff. You have a look at the front. I've obviously got rid of the air conditioning condenser. I thought I was cutting an air conditioning line and I've cut through a freaking power steering line. So unfortunately, I need to work out how to get that situation fixed. I did try and fix it with some rubber hose but it's the high pressure line and the rubber hose just won't hold. I'm super mad about it, I really am. I was ready to thrash this thing. I was gonna take it to get an alignment and stuff. Um, but now, this issue. But, I'm still taking it down to the track. I'll do the remainder of the work on it down at the track. Um, whether getting it fixed and all that sort of jazz. Um, but, take it down there. We'll do a burnout in it, but 
we do have to test 34 this afternoon so hopefully we'll do that and get some crazy footage of driving that thing and hopefully everything is super good with that because this is very annoying i was really excited to drive this car but i had to get a I had such a good rhythm working on the car and getting it all done and then that's just like I was up and up and up and then just boom down with my own no one to blame but myself. So. Karma for unnecessarily taking out parts. Pardon? Karma for unnecessarily taking out parts. The aircon wasn't hooked up. So keep it in there for safekeeping this when someone actually needs it. Um, it was damaged anyway no and you have better cooling without it in the way. Mm. Um, can I do a burner in it? You Maybe. have to drive the 34. Maybe. Okay. Very sunny. I, I could basically... I'm going to see if the brakes work enough to do a proper burnout. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Yeah. I don't exactly want to dump the clutch and then have no brakes whatsoever. So I've got to work that out. But uh, yeah, head down the track. So good little first skid there in the laurel she went well i just followed it up then and i guess it must have had a little bit of um i think i did overfill it with oil so it's pushed just some oil into the intake um so i blew a little bit of smoke and i got a bit concerned thinking i'd blown something up but it cleared up straight away so it was literally just made it must have been some oil in the intake or yeah hopefully nothing too exciting as far as i remember this engine was super healthy i did just do a pretty big burnout though but I think it's fine. We're going to jump straight into the R34 right now, which is basically the same thing as this, just makes a little bit more horsepower. I need a 47. Just a, just a water, water temp out. Huh? Just going, water temp's on. Water, 78.
Well, first lap didn't go so well. I immediately broke an axle, which definitely sucks. I'll try and show you guys. So it looks like it sheared just basically immediately, which is interesting because Cheech went out and immediately broke one as well, which is not funny, but interesting, I guess, that he just like literally immediately snapped one. And then my very first, as soon as I went to, and I was, I was sliding the clutch out too, not dumping, I was just sliding the clutch out and um, the axle let go. So we're trying to find another one to be able to complete the testing, but I can confirm the front end did feel a lot better um, immediately, which is really nice. And I think one of the big reasons the front end of this car has felt bad, ironically, is the tires are actually quite flat. They were down at 25 PSI. Now we've got them up to about 40 in the front uh, or 50. We've got them up quite a bit to try and round off the tire a bit more because they're very square, like um, autocross looking tire. So, you know, they were very late. Basically the tires were making the front feel super lazy where now it's feeling a lot better, but I only got that one little flick to sort of suss it out before we had the little issue. And this is only on R4s as well. We're intending to run R4s for World Time Attack, which are a lot grippier. R1s, sorry. These are R4s and we're intending to run R1s, which are a grippier version of the uh, Zek Nova tire. So definitely need to uh, make some adjustments, put a new axle in. But to be fair, we're driving this car really hard the other day um, and every other time we've tested without any issues with the axle so could have just been a prolonged issue exactly right yeah i might go to a burnout in that again to make me feel better Everybody else has been drifting and having fun. 
um, just been invited to drift the van which you guys have seen. I'll show you in a second, but it's a Mitsubishi Express van, 2.4 litre EFI. The boys are having a party in the van. So that's the van I'm gonna take for a ride. Um, <laughs> I'm scared, honestly. I've seen him drifting it and he's getting it up on two wheels all the time. It, it looks scary, um, but I want to have a go. This is going to be weird. Oh man, Cheech. I'm gonna take the van for a drive. Oh, really? Yeah. You know it's three wheels everywhere. I know. <laughs> but it's the back wheel. <laughs> Let's give it a go. So it's an auto 2.4 single overhead cam. It's a 4G64, non-turbo. It's basically an Evo van. Evo bottom end, the big block. <laughs> big block, bro, big block. Oh, so it's got like almost a normal handbrake, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. And then you just put it straight and low. That's it, that's it. Overdrive. Doesn't up. matter, it doesn't go in. Whoa. Oh, she's a bit perky. Oh, perky, she's perky. Whoa. You yeah, just have to send a little commitment on the handbrake. Scared.
My pleasure. I'm glad you could experience the van. The van. The fucking glory. Um, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see in here. Is there interior light? Oh, there's interior light. Thank you very much, sir. Man, man, Dan. You're insane. That is actually, it works actually really well. Yeah, it's, it's automatic. Really big wheelbase. Long wheelbase, Mitsubishi Express train. Pretty decent lock, I guess, because you'd need to on a long wheelbase. The power is enough. Look, a bone stock with the welder diff and that's it, nothing else. Stock exhaust, stock air filter, the whole lot. So it could be the next AU. Yeah, it is the next AU, they're too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, thanks dude. Jesus Christ.